Listen, a lot of times I get requests, and y'all know, for the most part, I don't like to spoil anything um, about what I'm going to be listening or watching. I want to go into it on a blank sheet of paper. I just see the request. I search it up on YouTube, hit record on my camera, and I hit play, right? But sometimes... I'm very intrigued by something, uh, particularly the name of something. And I, I just get the ask. I just start asking questions. Right now, when it comes to Zeppelin, <laughs> right, I saw Zeppelin. I'm like, oh, yeah, always down to do Zeppelin. Like, let's go. But I saw the name of the song and I'm like, what the hell is that? Right. So I said, you know what? This is one of them situations where I got to know what this means. I don't even know how to pronounce it. And so I put it in Google and uh, I, I, I found out what it means. <laughs> well, I, I found out what it means, I, I, I guess, in English. But I guess this is technically... So... The, the word the word itself the song is named after a Montgomery sure what a, a house is based uh, is, is, is named after a house in Montgomery sure Wales where the members of Led Zeppelin retreated in 1970 to write much of Led Zeppelin 3 after having completed a concert tour of North America. The word means golden breast or breast of gold in Welsh. Uh, as in a hillside of gold. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. When it comes to Zeppelin, man, they are... Um, creative isn't even a word. <laughs> Creative isn't it? I just saw breast, and I like. I was like, "Oh wow, okay." Um, look, man, I I don't even know how to pronounce it. So hopefully, when we hear the song, Robert will sing it, and I'll get the pronunciation of it. But I just want to hit play. I just want to hit play. I want to see what's going on here. So <laughs> let's go. I I don't know the name of it. But let's go. Jimmy Jimmy Page is Jimmy Jimmy Page is a different beast. Jimmy Page is a different beast. He's a different animal. He's a different animal. He's a different animal. This what he's doing right now on this acoustic guitar is 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 special. It's special. Oh man, the composition of Zeppelin music is just is one of one. It it really is. It is really special. It's, it's really special, man. 
it it's like it's rock country um i'm trying to think of all the sub genres that i've heard over over you know since i've been doing reactions um like a swamp rock then it has like a I can't even like I can't like it's so many different things like it incorporates so many different subgenres of country and rock like this is crazy What's making that clicking sound? What's that? Y'all don't y'all hear that? You know what's so crazy? I don't even know if they even said the word. I don't even know if they said the word. I was so into... Okay, hold on. Yeah, I, 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 didn't, th I didn't think I heard it. I didn't think I heard it. Damn, that was good, man. So I'm not even go I I don't even want to attempt to try to say it. But this song was recorded for the third album released in 1970. Uh They have the pronunciation here and I still don't know. B 
Bron E. Air. Bron Er Air. I know I'm messing it up. The cottage had no electricity or running water, but the change of scenery provided inspiration for many of the songs on the album. Wow. Jimmy and Robert wrote it. It is a country music inflected hoedown. Uh, it sounded like like a like a hillbilly kind of country. Like like something like I don't know, but it, it does sound like. Like it was made for a hold down. Uh, it is a country music inflected hold down with lyrics about walking in the woods with plants, blue eyed Marley dog named Strider. A uh, plant reportedly named his dog after Aragorn, often called Strider. From the Lord of the Rings. Guitarist Jimmy Page used an acoustic guitar. Drummer John Bonham played spoons and cassonettes. That's what that had to have been. I want to see, ah, that's what that was. I was like, fam, what is making that sound? I've never heard something like that. Gotcha. I like that. Um, maracas and hand claps. Unidentified. I thought it was them, but so they had studio musicians just to hand clap. That's pretty funny. Love this song, man. I swear, every time I think Zeppelin can't impress me no more, they do. They do. And again, it's we kind of bounce like around their time, like. Every now and then, like we the the song before this, it was from their last album in 1979. I think it was, I think they said it was the last recorded song that Bonham did, and now we jump back to the beginning of their run in 1970. Like it's crazy, bro. Like any time period of Zeppelin with throughout the 70s is like incredible, bro. Absolutely incredible. Zeppelin did it again, man. Zeppelin did it again. I can't wait to hear more. I know they have so much more. Y'all just got to let me know what it is that I need to check out. But I'm always down to listen to Zeppelin. Always. Never never disappoint me. Have yet to disappoint me at any capacity. Y'all just got to let me know what else I need to check out, man. All right? As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, with Led Zeppelin. Peace.